Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Derek Rosenberg, uh, and welcome to uh, my presentation of uh, our paper, A Wave Digital Filter Modeling Library for the Faust Programming Language. Uh, I'm here on behalf of myself and my co-authors, Eli Stein, Romain Michon, and Chutton Chowdhury. Um, and today I'm hoping to talk with you a little bit about uh, our work to better support wave digital models in the Faust programming language. So first of all, uh, what's good about wave digital models? Well, wave digital models are a really robust platform for simulating analog audio circuits, which really helps to create great tools for digital music. Um, analog audio gear has been used for a really long time, over 100 years uh, in producing music. Um, so there's lots and lots of vintage gear that is actively needing to be preserved that might be often very expensive. Um, and by creating these kinds of tools, we can help to learn both about more about uh, analog signal processing and uh, digital signal processing as well. Uh, and for those of you who aren't familiar, wave digital filters are a really popular what's called a white box modeling technique. They're a physical modeling technique, uh, which means that they simulate a circuit by simulating the internal behavior of it. And this is primarily done by deriving a corresponding network of adapters for a given audio circuit. Um, here you can see a second order low pass filter and the adapter network that corresponds to its uh, wave digital model. Um, and this can be greatly extended to complex circuits, say like the passive uh, basement tone stack circuit, which appears on the input stages of, guitar uh, of a guitar amplifier, um, which performs equalization and uh, can be implemented using an R-type adapter, or uh, say uh, the active tube screamer circuit, which is a diode clipper found within uh, the distortion stage of the uh, Tube Screamer guitar pedal, which is really popular. Um, um, however, what, one of the main challenges of wave digital modeling today is uh, implementing the adapter networks in uh, an optimized way. Um, especially, this is especially true for beginners. Uh, those who are more experienced wouldn't have too many issues. But this is out of a couple of problems. First of all, there are very few optimized public libraries that are available. Um, many of the libraries are written in C++, which can be uh, incredibly challenging for beginners, and are often several years old and not well supported. Um, the uh, wave digital model could be implemented in something like Max MSP or Gen. Um, but that would require the derivation of the direct form signal flow diagram, which is incredibly tedious and also very challenging for beginners. It involves a lot of complex steps and would be um, tough and is not great for working with and testing a model. So what we've been working in is creating an alternative to that in Faust. Um, for those of you who aren't familiar, is Faust is a high-level open-source DSP programming language. Um, when I say high-level, I mean that it's targeted for all skill levels um, and doesn't require uh, intricate knowledge of the complex DSP functionings in a language like C++. Um, and it's also completely open-source and free, um, which is great. And the final thing that's really nice about it is that it is highly optimized and compiles into uh, low-level languages, thereby producing code that can easily be run in real time. What we've created is a library called uh, WD Models. And this simplifies the implementation process of wave digital models in Faust greatly. Normally, what you would have to do is a process similar to the derivation for something like in Max, where you would have to derive the um, signal flow diagram. Whereas with the library, uh, we can have a higher level implementation where all that's needed to do is declare nodes, which correspond to adapters in the adapter wet network, and then declare the connection tree, which can be derived from a circuit from SPQR decomposition. It's the main method for representing these adapter networks in the wave digital filter literature. Um, 
And this can be declared using a custom metaprogramming representation with Faust compositional operators. Um, the library includes a lot of common adapters as stock to be accessed. So oftentimes, all that one will need to do is just declare the adapters with the component values, like a resistor with a resistance um, of R1, and then uh, just implement them in the connection tree using the compositional method. Um, if you're interested in the details of how to do this, um, I don't have time to cover it here, but I would encourage you to uh, check out the paper or the documentation where there's a thorough description of it. Um, the, the next thing that the library does, which is core, is it actually automates the process of solving for the direct DSP structure um, for a given wave digital model. Um, you can see here, this is actually the DSP structure in Faust block diagram algebra for the second order filter, which I just showed you earlier. Um, and with just a few lines of code, we can get a very complex uh, DSP structure, which would be really challenging to implement otherwise. Um, and it entirely automates this process, um, meaning that complex models can be created with just a few lines of code. Um, and another big thing that we've worked on with the library is to allow for custom or complex adapters to be implemented by users themselves. So for example, R nodes often require specific use cases um, and nonlinearities uh, often require uh, specific uh, implementations based on the structure of the circuit that can't really be provided in a generic way. So what we've implemented are functions within the library which can take a simpler form of the uh, no, of the adapter, say like a scattering matrix, and then turn it into a um, node that is capable of being used in the library as normal. Um, yeah. So the final thing I, or one of the final things I'd like to touch on is just the results that we've been seeing so far, um, which are great, honestly. Uh, Faust is doing a good job at optimizing the code for wave digital filters so far. Um, and we're seeing, uh, code that is absolutely suitable to be run in real time. Uh, here we're processing 100 seconds of audio at 192 kilohertz, so quite a high sample rate, and the times are just fractions of that, sometimes between one or less than one percent. Um, here you can also see we've included a real-time multiplier which uh, shows how much faster the uh, wave digital filter code is running than real time. So for example, the FF2 is running 94 times that of real time, 94 times faster than real time. Um, and this has also had relatively favorable comparisons to existing C++ libraries. Um, you can see here we've compared to two C++ libraries, one of which is highly optimized uh, modern C, uh, wave digital filter code, and the other one of which is a polymorphic uh, library. And you can see that in some cases, Faust, such as FF2, Faust actually beats out the uh, C++ library, the optimized C++ library, and greatly exceeds the polymorphic C++ library in most cases. And then finally, uh, I just wanted to briefly show off uh, some sort of how far this can be taken. This is an implementation of the first thing I showed you, the Pultec EQP1A, um, the program equalizer in Faust itself, um, which is running in the Faust online IDE in real time. Um, and it's an excellent start towards a full simulation of the Pultec. Um, and all this code, as well as uh, implementations of all the wave digital models that I've shown, can be found at this GitHub. Finally, I'd like to just give some thanks to SMC, as well as uh, our institutions, Tamara, Graham, uh, and Karma, as well as Kurt Werner, Julia Smith, and Rob Owen for their consultation on this project. Thank you.